Here we are again with the 300 gallon uh, channel catfish tank that I'm using as a breeding container. I say breeding container though I haven't bred anything yet in it, but that's the plan. In front of you, uh, you can see a, an inverted five gallon bucket uh, atop which sits uh, approximately a 12 gallon, uh, another food safe uh, uh, 12 gallon container that has filter media. The there is a pump that pumps water, a tetra pump that pumps water from the bottom of the tank through a PVC uh, pipe uh, up through the container, through the filter media, converting any ammonia into nitrates. And then the uh, water comes back out the top through another PVC uh, pipe. The um, idea here is obviously there needs to be some kind of filtration uh, to keep the water quality up. Uh, to keep the nitrate levels down, uh, I uh, just do water changes. Uh, you can see here to the left the uh, tetra pump and then the tubing, uh, uh, there's a uh, vinyl tubing that can then connects it to PVC into the filter tank. Uh, behind that you can see a float switch. Uh, I had an accident last year where the water level uh, uh, basically uh, drained out of the container and I uh, lost a bunch of fish. Uh, this float switch is uh, connected to uh, a leak detector uh, so that if the float switch drops uh, down, it sets off the leak detector, which uh, then contacts me through a text message and a phone call uh, on my cell phone. Uh, to the left, uh, you can see the uh, breeding container. The idea here is that channel catfish, according to the channel catfish farming handbook, uh, by Tucker and Robinson require water temperatures below 50 to 55 Fahrenheit for at least a month um, before normal sperm development can occur um, in the male catfish and egg development in the female. Uh, this is uh, very similar to planting winter rye in the, uh, in the fall uh, so that the seedlings uh, are exposed to very low, uh, in fact freezing temperatures and uh, this then triggers in the plant the ability to flower in the springtime um, and pr uh, therefore produce seeds. Uh, in, the, in the same way, uh, channel catfish uh, have to go through a cold period uh, in, in addition to other uh, environmental cues uh, so that they have normal development of sperm and eggs. Um, with plants, they call this process vernalization. Uh, I don't believe this term is used for fish, but uh, I thought I would uh, uh, tag the video with that because it's basically the same process. The uh, plan would be to take the fish and uh, bring them indoors uh, um, for the winter. In the inside, uh, the uh, water temperatures will be somewhere between 57 and 64 Fahrenheit. I'm not going to be heating the container, of course. And the idea is to overwinter them feed them once water temperatures rise above 55 uh, Fahrenheit and uh, in the spring bring them back outside and hopefully uh, start the process of uh, egg and sperm development.